Crypto. Hello and welcome everyone to another edition of the Franchise Tag Overtime. I am Gareth Smith and today I'm joined by a very special guest, NFL Academy star Yo-Yo. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you very much. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. So obviously thank you very much for your time today and it's a bit of a special day for yourself. Yeah. Um, quite a big day in regards to your education in the NFL and American football at this point in time. So you, you made a bit of an announcement today and, and you're going to the University of Colorado. How did it feel to make that announcement today? It's an incredible feeling. I I prayed for that. that I always wanted to be above. And like John Seaton say, I think I'm a dog. I claim I'm a dog. That's why I want to be above. Yeah. And obviously it's a college that has came into the limelight, particularly over the last couple of years, following the appointment of quite a famous coach there, or player, now coach. How important was having Coach Prime there, Deion Sanders, in making that decision for you to go to Colorado? It wasn't a hard decision because, like, his name, Coach Prime, some people like him, some don't, but I'm one of them who love him. It's prime time, and I, I'm i coachable. I can't wait to be coached from him. And also the Orland coach, Coach Phil Lothold, he, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to work good together. And obviously, it's a team that is involving, and obviously Coach Prime has been a big part of that evolution. So was there any other reason other than, what else was there other than those coaches that was why you chose to go to Colorado out of all of the options you had? I... I saw the city. I like the city. I love. I love the mountains. It reminds me of my home country, Austria. Yeah, and like the atmosphere, the stadium. The uh, it's one of the most prestigious schools in America. So, yeah, that was also. Yeah. And obviously, you've mentioned obviously you're raised in Austria, born in Egypt. How does a guy born in Egypt, raised in Austria, get into American football? So, yeah, I was born in Egypt um, in a small town where opportunities are limited. And my dad decided to leave the country and move to Austria because his uncle was already in Austria and told him life there is better and easier. And after a few years, I still was a kid. Um, he got me and my mom over to Austria. Then my two younger brothers were born. I got raised there, went to school. I was always one of the bigger guys in school. Um yeah. yeah, and the first sport, like the first sport I played was, we call it football, but the Americans call it soccer. I played yeah. soccer my like since I'm like seven, I think, till fifteen. Then I had an injury; I had to stop playing football, and I even I got even bigger and heavier then. And my friend just convinced me to start engaging in sports again. That's how I came to American football. We have a local team in Austria. I'm from Vienna, uh, the Vienna Vikings, and. I had my yeah. first season with them there, under 18s. I won it with with not losing any games. Then my second season with uh, the second men's team, unbeaten, won it. And then the third, because the coach wanted me to have like as many reps as possible. He yeah. may have some play time with the first team. We lost in the final, so we became second place. And yeah, and then I got a call for the national team, under 19s national team. Oh. Uh, we won every game and we won the European Championship final against Sweden and now we qualified for the World Cup in July in Canada 2024 which will be an incredible thing to go over to and obviously it's a sport that is expanding in Europe quite a lot and obviously with, in the likes of Germany and Austria, American football has been obviously quite big for a while with there being quite a lot of l leagues themselves Um and the O-line is an interesting position. It's a position I've tried myself, being a rugby lad. I thought I'd give it a go. And it's amazing how much you have to be able to handle squatting however many times <laughs> over a two-hour period, basically. Um, so what was it about O-line that you, what drew you to O-line? I, I, I couldn't choose it. I wanted to be a D-lineman first because like, I thought the d yeah. line like, the more athletic guys and the hit hard and everything. But the coach told me, you know, you were you a tech leo because you're big. I was the biggest in Austria and you're athletic for your for your weight, for everything you have. And 
then I started to love the position because I love it to I love the physical sport. So yeah. And obviously it's an interesting one because obviously there's been a few guys now gone over to America as part of the college, part of the NFL Academy. How much are you watching what they're doing just to see and seeing how they've gone over? Has it um has that inspired you to to make this move? Oh yeah, like my the we're all friends here. I have some friends over there, like Daniel, who committed to Oklahoma, yeah. Luke to Buffalo, some everywhere. And I'm in contact with them. I always ask them, how is it over there? So for me to be prepared. And we also have an NFL Academy alumni at Colorado, Kofi. I'm in contact with him. He really helps me always and tells me what it looks like over there. And it's an interesting one as well, obviously, when it comes to international players. And I think there's quite an inspiration probably um, for international players making it in the sport in NFL. You've got Jordan Maialata, who's just signed an absolute massive deal with the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, bearing in mind, this is a lad who played rugby and just transitioned to the sport so well. How much of an inspiration to see a player like that who hasn't grew up necessarily with the sport from like a, a youth um, make it and go on to get that kind of big contract that he's got over at Philadelphia. How inspiring is that for you? Yeah, it is inspiring because like, I love that it like it shows the world that Europeans and internationals can play American football too. So it's not only made for them. And I want to be the next one. Uh, I didn't mention it, but my first football season was only one and a half years ago. So it's not a long time ago. So these guys inspire me. I want to be the next guy. Obviously, hope I wish you all the best for the upcoming season as well. Obviously, it's truly will be watching because the good thing is now as well that we have college football broadcast here in the UK as well and the fact that that's now become more about an international uh, thing uh, so how interesting are you going to be that you know there's going to be NFL your your fellow uh, NFL academy guys are able to watch it so much more easier than in previous years how much of an inspiration is that for you to be able to know that you're potentially going to be inspiring the next generation as well it means a lot for me. I want, of course, I want to represent the NFL Academy. I want to get like more international guys over there and show them what we made of. And it's my team. I love my team. I will try to help them with everything they want. If anyone comes and asks for help, I will help him. And I just want to see everyone achieve their goals and live their life. Well, obviously, thank you very much for your time. Say good luck. Thank you. Over in Colorado, I'll be watching your career with great interest because I say I, I was a big fan of like those big guys in the in the trenches um obviously wishing you have success and obviously thank you so much for your time today great thank you very much and obviously thank you everyone who's listening at home we will be back again soon with another very special guest